welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm going to do the tune The Butterfly. It's an Irish tune and it's a slip jig. I've done lots of jigs, taught lots of jigs, and which are jigs are counted one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a slip jig is a little different. It's it's nine beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So um, I don't know why the slip jig came about or which came first even, but uh, it's a different dance is one kind of interesting thing to know. Um, if you go to Irish, see Irish dancing, this is just a different dance form. Anyway, you don't really need to know that to play this. It's a beautiful tune, a really cool tune. And I'm just going to play the whole thing. And as with all these lessons, play it in medium tempo in the beginning. And then we'll learn it note by note, building phrases and then bigger parts and then putting the bigger parts together. And I will also put in the comments field below you, I'll put the left hand fingerings and other links to other videos. Here we go, Butterfly. Right. So, um, I think that the uh, good scale you could do for this, it's in kind of E minor, but I think the best warm up scale would actually be you could actually do a G major scale. That's really the key of the tune. Um, the, 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 uh, there is an E minor scale, it's actually E Aeolian it's called, and if you wanted to practice the minor scale that would be cool too, it would sort of get your ear into it. So that one, the E Aeolian scale is 1 on D1, D1, 2, 3, open 1, low 2, 3, open E. So I've taught the, the Dorian, this is different, it's Aeolian. One, D, D1, one, two, three, open, one, low two, three, open E. Okay, so um, it's always a good idea to play the scales. If you've seen these lessons before, I think you probably think I sound like a broken record to play, play the scales, but it's really, really will make scale playing way more interesting and you'll just really see a nice connection between the music you do and scales and you'll get a lot better I think. So please take a moment, pause the video and practice the G two octave scale and that E Aeolian scale. All right, we're back, we're live, let's do this. First bit of the butterfly, starting A1 to D1 and then D. And then we end this bar with a 2. And I say in this bar, a bar is one, it's nine counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a bar. Um, in written music, there'll be a line, and it's also known as a measure. You don't really need to know that for this lesson, but anyway, you can also think of this as just the first bit, the first phrase. It's worth getting that down because it's repeated a lot. All right, let's loop it twice in a row. One more 
time. One more time. Okay, so we did it four times in a row. That felt right anyway. Okay, next, the next bar begins very similar. But then we do something different. Instead of that long second finger, we're gonna do two, one, over. So the whole next bar is Another way to think about this, this is the um, second quarter of the A part, all right? Now the third quarter of the A part is the same as the first, all right? So and now we'll do the fourth quarter, which is different. I'm going to play the whole fourth quarter. A little slower on A, one, three, three, one. And then it's starting A, D2, D over. So the whole fourth quarter. Again. So, um, I'm just gonna now play the entire A part. And uh, if any part is unclear, just rewind and listen to that. So I'm going to do it real slowly, and I'm going to do it twice in a row, okay? Counting in nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so um, that's the A part. Now we'll do the B part and then the C part. And I want to pause and say that um, for all these tunes that I teach, I try to do a play along track for you to practice with. A play along track's got a guitar or sometimes a harp and a, and a beat like a tambourine or, or a kick drum from drums. And uh, it's just a simple track with uh, two different tempos for you to practice with. I'll put a link to that for this song in the comments field below. Okay, B part, I'm gonna play the whole first quarter. So pretty. Um, so it's on A, one, low, two. And then on E, open, one, low, two. So the whole first quarter. Again. Okay, second quarter begins the same. So one to low two on A, but then something different. We're gonna jump to E low two and go down. And then after that on A three, one open. So the whole second quarter. Here's that again. Okay, let's do the first quarter and the second quarter together to make the first half. Three, two, three, four, two. Three. So, just to nitpick on myself, I counted it in sort of imprecisely. But it doesn't really matter too much, but it wouldn't be three, two, three, four, two, three, because I'll oh, forget about it. Um, that's just for the really, um, I said that just for the people who read music and who are really carefully paying attention to that, you'd probably want to count it like uh, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, or one, two, three, <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, enough. Third quarter is almost identical to the first. All right. And then we're gonna add a third finger. 
again. So that third finger is the only different part from the first quarter. Third quarter again. And the fourth quarter is jumping up to E4. I'll do the whole fourth quarter. So it's gonna go on E, four, three, two, open. That's a low two. Again. It's kind of hard. And then whole fourth quarter slow. Alrighty, I'm now gonna do the second half of the B part. All right. If any of the parts is unclear or you're unsure, go and practice just those parts. It's very important. Why don't you pause the video and review everything we've done so far? Good. All right. I'm now going to do the entire B part. Moving on to the third part, the C part of the tune. And that's going to start first on A, like this. That's the whole first quarter. One, one, open on A. And then D3 to open A again. That's the first quarter, and it will be the third quarter, okay? So now let's do the second quarter. This one is all on the A string. It's one, 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 open, one, three, one, open, one, one, open, one, three, one, open. All right, again. Good, I'll now do the first half of the C part. Again. Okay, third quarter of the C part, same as the first quarter, listen. And then the fourth quarter, is the same as the fourth quarter of the B part. Is that right? No, it's not right. Um, it's close though. Anyway, um, so here's the fourth quarter. That's the fourth quarter of the C part. One, three on A, and then on the E string, low two open, we have, and then we end with, all right, so the whole fourth quarter again, all right, the second half of the C part. Now I'm going to do the entire C part twice. Play along if you can, or just listen. Listening is practice too. Count, counting in nine beats for the slip jig. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, you can end it on a long note. 
But if you were to start it over, this is how we transition from the end of the C back to the A. All right. So anyway, anything doesn't make sense, just rewind, listen to it. Listen to the beginning when I play the whole thing. Listen to the play along track I have linked so you can get another way of hearing the tune and practicing it. And I'm glad you made it. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for